Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today, we're going to be checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys Amazon Gold Label Exclusive, the Glow in the Dark Parallax, kind of, sort of, from Zero Hour Crisis in Time. We'll just say, very loosely affiliated with that old 90s storyline. But like I said, it's an Amazon gold label exclusive, one of 5,100 pieces. So there's a lot out there and on the sides of the box, tells you exactly what's on the front of the box with the back of the box showing you Hal Jordan as Parallax. Now, it is a slip cover. You get to see the figure and everything else that it entails. It has a little bit of plastic wrap around it, and you have some twisty ties to cut, but you can get him out or display him how you so choose. And yes, he does have a few accessories, which we'll talk about that. But in the meantime, we're going to have an absolute blast here, so sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice side cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Amazon DC Multiverse exclusive from Green Lantern. We have Parallax, Zero Hour Crisis in Time, the Glow in the Dark Edition. So now here's everything taken out of the packaging, and I'll save you some time. If you like the prior Parallax, but now you want a Glow in the Dark version with some minor changes, well, here you go. So he does have the exact same accessories. They glow in the dark. They fit over his hands. You get the idea. And they are nice effects. In fact, you get two of them. They're going to be the exact same, but they simply just fit over his fists, and it looks pretty darn cool. It does give him some powers. It does give him some life, and it's not too shabby because they also glow in the dark. Now, what I would have liked to have seen was to give Parallax here a flight stand. In fact, I take that back. I would have liked to have seen a lot more to this figure, but this is what's in the box. Now, he does come with a glow-in-the-dark green lantern lantern. The problem being is that he only has one set of hands, which are fisted hands, so he won't be holding this. You do get a cool, flat, black, multiverse green lantern stand. That's cool. And the figure itself, as I've said, it's going to be the exact same figure same exact articulation. They've just changed a few things to make him more glow in the dark. Kind of sort of representing Parallax. Now, this is more the modernish kind of take on Parallax, not so much the 90s version. There's some distinct differences, but the green is cool. Don't get me wrong, the cape is now all green. He benefits more from that glow in the dark green lanternish glow, if that makes any sense. But they have updated the head portrait. This time around, they gave him the white side wingtip poly walnut hair. It's not fantastic by any means, but at least he's got some white there. And now he actually has brown hair instead of a more jet black sort of hair, which doesn't really fit Hal Jordan. Like I said, same exact articulation, the legs, the arms, the waist. And he does have a fairly decent ab crunch, which is always nice to see. But again, like I said, this is not the zero hour Hal Jordan parallax. He's got the ring sculpted on one hand, which there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't really match what you would consider the zero hour parallax. In fact, the costume basically, as I said, being a reworking of a more modernish type parallax. Is it a cool looking figure? Yes. Does he glow in the dark? Well, we'll get to that in just a second. Now, to see him paired up with Kyle Rayner at that time. Kyle Rayner taking over for Hal Jordan. This is the suit. Wasn't available around the time when the first Parallax was released from McFarlane Toys. But they do stand nice, and you can use Hal Jordan's effects for Kyle Rayner. Also, because Kyle has hands that can hold the lantern, you could then give this lantern to Kyle or any other green lantern in your collection that has a hand to hold it, or you can just set it next to it. That's basically what you can do. You can swap heads with this Parallax and the prior released Hal Jordan, which does look pretty good. And to be honest with you, an extra head portrait, more when Parallax takes over and he gets those more ferocious looking teeth and he looks more alien-ish, that would have been cool. So this is just a vampire head swapped over to this Parallax. Now, What's the glow in the dark look like? If you set this figure in the light, you get it going for a couple minutes at least, he glows 
pretty darn good. And the eyes are some sort of separate glowy effect, which is awesome. They really stand out. It really makes him creepy. So you get to see all the parts and pieces that glow. It's a pretty hefty, awesome glow. So for that alone, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool parallax. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Amazon Gold Label exclusive, the Glow in the Dark Parallax, which is not the one from Zero Hour, but it's Parallax from the more modernish take. He glows in the dark. He's pretty cool. There's some oddities again with the hand. There's no hands to hold the accessories. It's cool because he glows in the dark and they did a good job with that. Anything else, stick with the prior released Hal Jordan parallax. Unless you want that more designated head portrait, which semi has the correct white on the sides of his now brown hair. So at least they got that going. Some extra hands, extra head portrait, more of a ferocious looking parallax why that would have been lovely. But again, it's the bare minimum work to bring this glow-in-the-dark figure as an exclusive. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Parallax. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, keep bringing on the 90s characters. But make sure to pay attention to those key details because we're all looking for those at this point in our DC Multiverse collections. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.